Hi, my name is Mike and in back of me is my VacuFlow 560 central vacuum system which all of a sudden quit working the other day and the fix to get it going again was really inexpensive and real simple and I'm going to show you today how to test to see if, if yours has quit working if it's the same problem. And uh, the good news is uh, there's a little circuit breaker in there that had failed on mine and the really really good news is it's guaranteed for life and the company that built it shipped me a new one at no cost to me other than postage. So let's go inside here and see if this is the problem. First, unplug your vacuum system before you work on it. Now, we need to take the top off, and there's a set screw on top, a really tiny set screw you'll need to take off, and then you can tilt the top back, and there's a clip in the back that holds it on in the back, and you can remove it. Now we're gonna find the little circuit breaker, and, and mine is on the left side of the machine as I'm facing it. I found the circuit breaker right here, and I'm going to unplug the uh, two wires that lead to it. And I'm going to take this copper wire and connect those. Of course, everything is unplugged right now to test it. And you don't want to touch this wire while it's plugged in. And you don't want it touching any other piece part of the vacuum system. And I'm just going to plug it in for a second, so I'm going to try to keep it... Well, here's another wire I'm going to put around here, around these wires to kind of hold it. But you see that's up in the open where it's not touching anything. Now I'm going to plug the vacuum in and open my port. Yeah. That tells me that's the problem. Unplug it and take the wire out. We're going to replace the breaker. The... Uh, the breaker is held on with a half inch plastic nut, which we're going to remove. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep the plastic nut in the sleeve that's around this when I mail it back. But if you take both of those off, here's what I'm sending back. And I can't believe a little plastic breaker like this has a lifetime warranty, but it does. Okay, we'll wait for the new one. All right. Here's the new circuit breaker, and we're going to put it back in. First, I'm going to, there's a, a little inside nut that I'm going to put on the breaker right here. And the outside nut that goes on it is a little bigger than the old one, so the half inch wrench won't work. But we're going to put it in and tighten it up. I suspect if I break it, it would not be covered under warranty. All right, that's plenty tight. We're going to plug our two connections back in here. I try to with the camera running. There's one. And there's two. Now we're going to see if the finished product works before we put the top back on. Good to go. While I'm putting this back together, uh, the company that made the breaker is called Snap Action. And I went to their website, snapaction.net. I'll put a link below. And I, uh, I went to the Contact Us section and I actually took a picture of my old breaker and sent it to them and they responded and said if you'll send me if you'll send us your old breaker and uh, a return envelope to send send a new one back to you we'll replace it for free and that's exactly what happened so a uh, really easy fix and a really good company to work with vacuums fixed thanks for watching